uh, we are continuing with our lessons today I'm on my own my tutor is not in so I'm just doing a review of uh, everything what I've been learning and all that so this is the keyboard so I, I just want to see how much I can remember of the things I've learned of course I've learned the key identification and all that um, like now I know this is a C D E F G A B C yeah so uh, I was taught and told that uh, a keyboard has eight keys uh, that is start with a C and ends with a C C or can start with a D and end with a D. So, but basically, yeah, that is it. Uh, something else I learned there is um, the white keys and the black one. So the black one are referred as sharps. God, my teacher will say if whatever I'm saying is the truth. And um, and of course between this white key and this black one is a semitone yeah? between these and these is a semitone which is also referred as a, an interval the, the distance between one key to the other is known as the interval which uh, when you move from this to this black one is a semitone but when you move from this white one to when you move from C to D is a full tone is a tone not a semitone and uh, something else I learned uh, also from my last, uh, my second lesson is that um, when coming from the right to the left, they are called known as flats. But when they um, you're coming from the left to the right, they're called sharp. So basically, these are that is a C sharp. That is a C sharp. Huh? So we're just going to do a recap and see if this girl remembers what she has been learning. So something else my teacher told me, uh, when uh, you're naming the fingers when playing, you uh, name them according to number, and the thumb is always number one, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So if you want to play all the keys, uh, the eight keys, uh, uh, this is important. Uh, you play the first three, then you pass the first finger there, like that. When going backwards, you do like this. So I don't know whether you've seen how I'm interchanging the fingers. So yes the f eight f or uh, the eight uh, keys you're supposed to play still with the five fingers but when the first three you, you play with one two number three that is like that then on the fourth you go back to the first one then you continue up to the end of all the fingers eh? So that is very important. So I just want to see if I can remember how I was playing the is one song I learned. You're using the three fingers, one, two, and three.
just today I'm just here to do the practice and all that. So um as we can all see, I don't know whether you're able to see the entire keyboard, but I guess from this point you're able to see this this is a C. So for you to be able for ease of identification of all the keys on the keyboard, it's important to know that um uh, always a C start from the the two black keys. Eh? This is where the C start. So these are C, these are C, these are C, and another one which I'm not sure whether you're able to see at the far end. These are C, so you can start here. These are C. If you notice, I'm trying to play all the C at a given point. I don't know whether, let me see if it's possible to, my hands are not long. I was, no, it's possible. I'm trying to play both the C. So what I'm trying to do is just some um, just practice trying to practice on the on my on my fingers so that they get used to and all that this is a mistake I've made that's what I'm trying to rectify whether you've seen how I'm interchanging the hands at both at the same time remember when you're doing the eight chords uh, the way you're going to interchange the right hand is not the same way you interchange the the second hand with the right hand I told you you start with the first three then you go back to the first but now in this case yes you'll start with the five then here you come back to the number three same case so they have to interchange like that I don't know uh, if I'm making sense but so uh, let's see This shows that with lack of practice, like now the last time I, I held the keyboard was I think on Thursday, on Tuesday, on Tuesday did I? No, on Tuesday, this week, on Tuesday I didn't make two practice. Basically it was last week, actually on Tuesday, it's a whole week and some days since the last time I touched this keyboard. So basically it means if I do not practice even the playing itself, 
doesn't come through. So it's important. <laughs> So I was starting with the, I was starting with the with the with the G. So you need to start with the D. Wait, a G. I'm starting with the D, G, F sharp, G. Okay. So this is the music I'm trying to play. That is a D, G, A sharp, G, A, E, A. That is what I'm trying to play. So a D, G, A. Tune I'm trying to play that is D G F sharp G A E A. So this uh, basically meant to help me identify the keys with ease without having to worry. Like now I know this is a, a G, A, B, C. Uh, this I know it's an F sharp. Huh? This is a F sharp. So when I play coming from this side, it's an F sharp. So. have done is the crisscrossing is not allowed it's actually a mistake to crisscross those uh, those keys so yeah I'm just doing the practice just reminding myself that some um, indeed this is an F this is an F F sharp F F sharp this is an E no 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 not there 
Oh, oh. this is an F. F sharp, E, E flat. Yes. So if you're coming from this side, you name the black keys based on the previous. Like now this is an E. So from here, this is an E flat. And coming from this side, this is a, an F. This, so this become an F sharp. F, so F sharp. So this is E. Going this side, this is an E sharp. So as I was telling you, this is a F, G, A, B, C. So the important part you need to know that each and every part where the the black keys are starting, that is the C. So I start from here. So this automatically becomes a C, yeah? So this is a C, this is a C, this is a C, this is a C, and this is a C. It helps you to identify. And you see even this end one, the end one which uh, the volume is a little bit low, it's also a C because uh, you have just come from this three, that means you're starting the other two, the, the keyboard has ended, but uh, it's important. That is one of the best way to help you identify the keys that